I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. What happens when I feel nothing in church? That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Hey, if you love these wid videos, videos, is my Latin? Oops. These videos, um, and you have been daring to be Lutheran with us Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of the Easter season, go ahead and hit like and subscribe today. You can also go to support.higherthings.org and give today. Your tax-deductible gift keeps Higher Things as an organization for our church's youth. We run conferences, we do videos, we do all these things, but we don't live off the conferences. We live off your gifts. So be generous and give today. So you go to church and you feel nothing. Or worse, you, you feel as bad as you were when you got there. You... Uh, you feel empty. You want to feel something. You're desperate to feel something, but nothing. What then? Well, in a perfect world, if you were um, on this side of, on, on that side of eternity, on Jesus' side of eternity, um, you would, uh, in heaven's in eternal life, you would always feel on top of the world. I'm on top of the world. Hey, um, you'd always feel on top of the world and you'd always feel great in church. You would always be looking for ways to build other people up and church wouldn't it be about you at all. It'd be about what Jesus did for you and how you can serve and love those around you. But we're not in a perfect world on this side of eternity. And so there are days, weeks, and months where we feel absolutely nothing in church. Or we feel worse or uncomfortable. And on those days when we feel nothing, it's important to remember that Jesus is just for us, just as much for us as on the days when we feel on top of the world. Eh? I'm on top of the world. Eh? On those days, Jesus is for us. And on the days in which we feel nothing, Jesus is for us. In fact, Jesus is most for us when we aren't feeling for us at all. You see, we're in a sort of a, a culture where we think that everything sort of revolves around us, that we're most important and how we feel is the determining factor on which, whether something works or not. And that's just not Christian. All right. While our feelings make us who we are, our feelings are not the certainty of the gospel. The certainty of the gospel is the word. And this might sort of stun you and make you feel sort of upset with me. Well, you're just allowing church to stink and be snoozersville. No, I'm not. What I'm saying is you're the salvation and your faith is all on Jesus and not on you. He is your savior when you feel on top of the world, A, eh? and when you don't. He's your savior when you feel like he died for you and he's your savior when you feel like he didn't. On both days, in fact, when you feel the worstest, and I made that word up, he's most your savior because it doesn't depend upon you at all. It doesn't depend upon you at all. I don't know how much to say this. It all rests on Christ. His salvation for you is the determining factor in what makes a, get, a church good and what makes a church not good. You could feel on top of the world and not hear the gospel. That's not church. And you could feel in the, in the, in the, in the, in the bottom of the barrel and hear the gospel, and that's church. Christ died, Christ rose, Christ lives for you. And you may think to yourself, well, I don't know how if I heard that message, my heart wouldn't go pitter-patter and I wouldn't feel on top of the world. Well, that's great for you, but the rest of us, sometimes the only thing we can cling to in church is Christ. He's the only thing which can save us from our not feeling good at church. Look, I'm a pastor, and sometimes I have to drag myself to church and if you want to give me a nasty language, I'll just sort of uh, sort of flame me for that. We're all sinners. And sometimes I go to church because I have to go to church, because I'm paid to go to church. I'm that bad. Sometimes you go to church because you have to go to church, because you need church, like you need to eat. If you went all day without eating, your loved ones and your friends and your family would say, look, you need to eat, whether you're hungry or not. And that's the way it was with church. I need church whether I feel like I need it or not. I need church whether I get something from it or not. Like I need vitamin C whether I feel like I need it or not. So on the days when you don't feel anything, he died for you. When you feel like you're a wreck and you got nothing from church, in fact, you feel worse than you did when you got there, 
You still needed that word of God. You still needed that sacrament. You needed it. Needed it like you can't live without oxygen. You can't live without the word of God. You need the word of God more than you need food. And you don't believe that. And that's the great deception of the world. But look, I want you to feel good in church, and I wish that you did. I wish that I felt good in church sometimes. But the truth of the matter is, as a sinner, my whole being is fighting me being church. My whole being wants me to be somewhere else, anywhere else, and wants church to be all about me feeling good. But church and Jesus and the gospel isn't about me feeling good. Look, when Jesus is, 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 is saving Thomas, when he goes in and Thomas wasn't there, um, when the other apostles saw him, and he says, to, and Thomas won't believe, unless I put my finger into the, the place of the nails and see the place of the nails, unless I thrust my hand in his side, I will not believe. When Thomas engaged Jesus and he saw the Lord and the Lord repeated back to him his words, well, put your finger here, see my hands and thrust your hand into my side. That was not the best day for Thomas. Even though he looks at him, he's like, my Lord and my God. When Peter is corrected by Jesus, do you love me, Peter? Do you love me, Peter? Do you love me, Peter? Three times in John 21. Peter was grieved, but still he needed to hear that word of God. Like you and I need to hear this word of God. And so do I feel, when I feel nothing in church, I need to be at church. Just as much as when I feel great in church. Because it's not about me. This world tells me it's about me, but it's not about me. It's about Jesus for me and me for others. Have you ever thought that you do a really good work when you show up to church because you're pe the people around you need to see you and hear them, hear that gospel from your mouth when you proclaim the creed? Because it's not only about you. It's, for it's about Jesus for you and about you for others. Think about this the next time you feel nothing. And think about this you when you feel on top of the world. Hey, that joke's never going to get old. Well, maybe it is. Either way, you need the word of God. You need the gospel. I'm Pastor George Barkard, and this has been another Higher Things video short.